things that we as farmers uh, putting on to 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 our farms uh, to to make sure that you as a consumer are eating meat that is foot and mouth free so what we're then doing even at livestock world and also at farmers club with uh, our um, our meat uh, direct from farm to fork uh, uh, business is that we are following to the letter all the prescriptions that the government has put in in terms of biosecurity for the farms so no new cattle are coming in into the farms until the lockdown is, uh, is, 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 is lifted and then also for every cattle that have to go to, go to slaughter um, we have to follow the prescribed process of, of making sure that the cow that goes to slaughter and goes to the abattoir is foot and mouth free because if a cow with foot and mouth just like COVID, if we were to leave the farm and go to the abattoir, at the abattoir it mixes with other cattle, so those other cattle could also uh, be be infected, even though they're all still gonna be slaughtered. But nevertheless, so the prescriptions are very simple, a, a bit onerous, they they they're a bit onerous, but but really necessary. One in that, uh, as a farmer, you have to get from the abattoir where you're gonna send the cattle a letter, a letter saying um, farmer X is going to bring in Y number of cows to the to for slaughter on a specific day and then on the day that that transportation is going to happen a state vet or a vet must come onto the farm and inspect the cattle um, that means checking its, their hooves, uh, opening the mouth, inspecting for sores uh, on, on, the, on the mouth of the, of the cow uh, to make sure that there is no foot in the mouth. And then write a report which then the state vet, a state vet then inspects uh, and then is able to release what is called a Red Cross uh, certificate. So it's a, it's a cattle removal certificate. It looks like this. So it, it's, it displays that this number of cattle, in this case we are slaughtering four cattle uh, today, uh, this number of cattle have been inspected by the vets, they've got the tech numbers and where they're going and that these cattle are, have been, have been uh, declared foot and mouth free. So what does that mean then? That means that there's extra costs, you know, there's extra costs of the vet. Uh, there's extra admin you know just to make sure that all this is coordinated uh, uh, right but it is worth every cent why because you want to make sure that you protect you protect the consumer and you make sure that at the output end at, 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 your, at, at the shelf or at the farmers club website when you're going to, to order your meat uh, you're finding the best possible meat possible that you can uh, feed for yourself and your family and your friends okay so that's that's really the, the, the long and short of, uh, of, of the biosecurity measures that we at Livestock World have also instituted at our farms uh, so to make sure that we, we're part of, of uh, uh, flattening the curve. Flattening the curve, yes. Yeah. <laughs> because if you think put them out really, uh, it's, 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 it's real, roughly very similar, very similar to to COVID-19. You know, with the lockdown that's here is designed to prevent the movement of cattle between farms. So if the if the movement is prevented then then the cat, cattle with foot and mouth are able to be identified earlier and then um, make sure that they are er eradicated from the farms so that so that the spread of the disease is 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 limited. And then it's it's important for us as a country as uh, South Africa to keep our farms and our country foot and mouth free uh, why because yeah, it's important for the export markets especially to europe uh, and to china uh, where they they want to make sure that all the cattle are, are uh, foot and mouth free so there are vaccines as well uh, that uh, are available for cattle just the government must just do its part there in terms of ensuring that all in its entirety the cattle in the country are vaccinated 
so that just like Brazil does, so that uh, uh, this disease becomes just like the common flu, um, which I think you guys will also be aware that COVID, when it came, we were all scared, saying, oh, we're all going to die. The same thing as again with people like, okay, foot and mouth, oh, all the cats are going to die, what are we going to eat, what about our prize? Uh, no, there's no need to be scared. Because um, it's, it, think, think the COVID-19 virus in the same way, think foot and mouth virus as well. So there's measures in place, the government is doing all they can, farmers are doing their parts in every way that they also can. And we at Livestock World are doing everything we can as well on our part. Uh, to make sure that, that to make sure that uh, we are part of the solution. So and people always also ask, um, what about uh, my investment now? Is my cow going to suddenly fall and die? No, the cow is not going to suddenly fall and die. Just like we didn't all fall and die during COVID-19. So in the same way, uh, during foot and mouth, really cattle uh, develop, uh, cattle that are infected develop uh, sores in their mouth, and therefore they salivate. They've got too much saliva. It's one uh, indicator that you can see in the cow. And also, their hooves, they, they develop sores and they actually rot. So, and, and, and you they'll probably uh, also have a difficulty in, in walking. So that's the, that's, the, that's the long and short really of, of, of how you can pick up foot and mouth in a cow and how you can, how you can stem uh, its, uh, its spread. So then most importantly now, can I still invest in cows? Are the, Cow is still a, a, a good investment despite uh, uh, FMD as it's uh, affectionately called. Absolutely, because um, the cow is, cow, South Africa has got, has got over 14 million cattle. And um, the, the, the few hundred farms and feedlots that has been identified it represent a very minute percentage of the total herd in the country. So, so your, your investment is safe. Uh, your, your cows are, are doing all right. None of our farms or, or partner farmers have been affected by, by FMD. And um, also, if they are, if they are there, if, if they were to be in, in, in infected as other farmers in the areas are, farmers are doing everything they can to make sure that, that those cows that are identified are, are, are removed from the herd and are tended to in, in, in the biosecurity measures that uh, the national government uh, and, the, and the Department of Agriculture have put in place. So that's the long and short really of uh, uh, this quick FMD tutorial as I call it. Uh, and uh, we'll keep you guys posted of when of developments and, and when uh, the, the, the lockdown or the, the ban on movement is, 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 is fixed. Why most importantly because um, it's, it, it affects farmers from a cash flow point of view. So, for example, if a farmer has got to, to, to auction their cows, they can't, they have to wait until the, the ban on auctions is lifted. So it means that the farmer won't have income for the, for the time being that uh, the lockdown is in place. So, but, but as, as for cattle that are going to go for slaughter, uh, then the process is still very permissible, only that um, rules must be followed. And for those, every time there's a movement of cows, the state vet must come, inspect the cattle, issue a certificate, and allow the cattle to, to then proceed to the abattoir to make sure that the meat that we find at our supermarket is a, is, is a top possible uh, grade possible and, and free of any, of any disease. Thank you guys, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, but not only like and subscribe to our channel, but also invest, go to livestockwealth.com and invest and download our app on Apple Store and on Android and also go to www.farmers.club and order your, your monthly uh, fix of, uh, of healthy free-range grass-fed beef. So uh, see you guys later. Goodbye.